the Philadelphia Flyers are in the worst 13 game streak in their entire history. They have lost 12 in a row. You know how every team there's the insanely bad team mm -hmm. and then there's a couple teams that tiptoe behind them <laughs> uh the flyers are tiptoeing yeah they're in i was um i wanted to tweet something the other day about the sabers and it was going to be complimentary because i mean let's face it they're still real bad mm -hmm. but things are starting to go in a positive direction mm -hmm. you know what i mean like i think their biggest problem is fairly obvious. Every puck goes in, <laughs> right? I mean, let's call it what it is. Every puck goes in. Uh, I mean, not even the Coyotes have that problem. Right. Right. Um, and that's not even entirely like the Sabres or Kevin Adams' fault. Every goalie under contract has gotten injured. It's not fair. Like, the uh, hot young prospect, injured. Dude, they just got injured. Free agent signing, injured. Free agent signing is Aaron Dell. Free agent <laughs> signing. Like, like, hey, they made that choice. Yeah, they did make that choice, and they can be blamed for that. Tukarski's hurt. Yeah. Like, dude, it's it's so bad, but things are starting to go in the right direction. And I was looking at their points percentage, and they were fifth last. And I'm like, you know, heading into this season, if you told me fifth last for the Sabres, I'd be like, even that is a victory. Mm -hmm. Because that is five spots higher than I had them. I had them finishing negative. I had them finishing mm -hmm. out of the league. I had them finishing 33rd. And the Flyers were one spot ahead of them. Oh. And that cannot happen. It can happen. We look at the Montreal Canadiens, and I think we're all very understanding of the season they're having. Every possible thing that could go wrong has. And then a few things we didn't think of went wrong. Is it fun? The Montreal Canadiens? Yeah. No. It's going to be fun when they draft first overall. I think it's going to be fun. Well, right? listen, I'm having fun because everything went right for them in the playoffs last year at the Leafs' expense. <laughs> right. But I'm also having fun watching the compilation videos of Andrew Berkshire going, and that's oh. another loss. <laughs> <laughs> He's had eight wins to talk about all season. I do got to say, I, I feel um, it's hard for me. I should hate the Habs, but I, don't I tend to semi-cheer for my friend's team's for the sake of my friend's happiness. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. And I know Berkshire says he's not a Habs fan he's anymore. A Habs fan. He just, I, first of all, he's a liar. Second of all, uh, he does game over Montreal. And every time I see the score, I'm just like, I remember doing videos after every horror check game. Oh and I'm yeah. Just like we did two how did podcasts get, a week. The yeah, three of us. We mm -hmm. did two podcasts a week. Steve, how'd you get through it? I drank on camera. I drank whiskey out the bottle. For what? several months, dude, they were shit. Not so, on this show. Not on this show. <laughs> but on LFR, I drank whiskey out the bottle as like a bit. We could, anyway, I don't know if Tech Savvy knew that when I was doing those oh, sponsor the sponsor videos. The time? Yeah. For the, anyway. Uh, <laughs> I remember that. That was a big deal getting them to sign onto your channel. Yes, we can talk about that later. But anyway, it, like it's so hard to get through. Anyway, we, the under, we understand why that's happening for Montreal. The Flyers simply are ass. Mm -hmm. Like, what has gone wrong for them? Everything. Any, any? No, they're just, they're simply bad. Like, Montreal, this guy didn't start the season. This guy is basically retired. Everybody got COVID. Uh, you know. Uh, I'm going to give you two things that went wrong. Because Chuck Fletcher did his State of the Union. Our team is terrible. And I need to talk to the media. Uh, media press conference. Chuck today. Fletcher, known for his good teams and sustained success. <laughs> I'm just going to say, stop Chuck Fletcher hiring the same guys. <laughs> Chuck Fletcher is the stop. reason Steve hates the wild. <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> well, he's legit. Who got good the second he left. Yeah. Well, they had their Paul Fenton era. Let's not forget about the Paul Who Fenton. Who got good a season after he left. Yeah. Sorry. So, Chuck Fletcher, GM of the Flyers, held his uh, My Team is Bad press conference, and he gave two important updates mm. on. Ryan Ellis and Sean Couturier. Ryan Ellis, if you don't remember, they acquired from Nashville in the offseason. Uh, I believe it was a trade. I forget who went the other way. Um, but Ryan Ellis so far this season. Nolan Patrick. Nolan Patrick. There you go. Has played four games. Their huge offseason acquisition, acquisition has played four games. In Chuck Flesher's press conference today, he said that uh, Ryan Ellis should, may require surgery, most likely will miss the entire season. That sucks. Awful. Sean Couturier, 
also been out since December. They put him on uh, long-term injury reserve. Probably going to require surgery. Probably out for the rest of the season. No. Things Jeez. are going bad oh. in Philly, <laughs> yeah. and they're getting worse. Now, the Giroux conversation... So I shouldn't say nothing's gone wrong. Right. You shouldn't say nothing's gone wrong. Things have gone wrong. The Giroux conversation is, he's our big piece. We should move him. Chuck Fletcher today says, that's up to Claude. If he wants to be moved. Because he has a full no movement clause. Right. So, things are good. There's pieces the to Leafs, trade here. The Leafs evidently called about Giroux. That yeah. is the rumor and yeah. uh, the Avalanche as well. Hmm. The Avalan Avalanche are in on every single deal. They should be. They, sh <laughs> yeah, they, they, they got to go for it. They got to go for on it. Everything. Now, I'm going to throw a few numbers at you. Um, we're going to have a cold, hard conversation called why you shouldn't feel bad. Uh, <laughs> don't okay. care. All hey, right. All it's right. It's the show. It's the show. Chuck Fletcher has been around for a long time. Mm -hmm. He comes from a, a family of hockey general managers. Uh, this is the game. Here's a couple important numbers. 49 and 35. Those are the amount of games that Ryan Ellis played in the previous two seasons. One of those is a 60-game season? Uh, so last year was a 56-game season. He played 35. Which is about 60% oh. of the games. Yeah. The previous season was a roughly 70-game season. Depends which team you were on. He played 49. That's roughly 60%. Was he games. really good in the games that he played? Yes. This was always, always, always a risk. The second the trade happened, all the analysts said this was always, always, always a risk. Lo and behold, it was a risk. Second number I'm going to throw at you. Can you believe that the Philadelphia Flyers gave up Robert Hag a 2021 first and a 2023 second for Ryan Ellis? No, you can't, because that's what they gave up for Rasmus Ristolainen, who was another <laughs> yeah. big offseason like, acquisition. Yeah, I was like, what the fuck are you talking about? Nope. <laughs> nope. Oh my God. Old curveball there. Like, shit happens, man. Yeah. Shit happens. Think you're going to win in the playoffs. Dunk! John Tavares is out. You know, hey, uh, you think uh, you're going to have an easy time getting through the playoffs? Guess what, Pittsburgh Penguins? Ron Hainsey is your first, second, and third defenseman, and they found a way to make it work. Shit happens. He's been in charge for that. Those two shitty signings he made in, Minnesota's, uh, in Minnesota happened a decade ago. Shit happens. I feel bad for the Flyers, and I feel bad for their fans. It's, this should be called the what? National Shit Happens League. And, and uh, like, when do we have a conversation about him being a not very good general manager? Well, yes. And I, I, I think that that, I mean, uh, listen, it's the same thing with Ken Holland. It's just they're there. Hmm. You yeah, know? the difference being Ken Holland has a track record of doing things and winning occasionally. So now it's a long time ago. It was a long yeah. time ago. But yes, maybe Chuck Fletcher would have the same resume if he inherited Nicholas Lidstrom. Didn't right, and he traded Shane Goss to spare and reacquired Buffalo Shane but Goss to spare yes. for a lot. Yes, yes. Like I know Goss to spare had to go because Flyers fans hated him, which is such a shame because man, when he, he when he took off there, it was amazing. Yeah, but like everything about Shane Goss to spare <laughs> that they said. It has been said about Rasmus Ristolainen. <laughs> when's when's like, Bob Clark going on a podcast to be like, I can't fucking believe he gave up Robert Hag a first and a second for <laughs> Rasmus Ristolainen. No, he's going to hammer the other guy on his way out the door, Ron Hextall. Like, anything to deflect from what's going on right now. Bob Clark's involved in the Flyers right now? I don't know. Okay. I mean, yeah, I assume he's he like senior is. management. Okay, so that's... One thing that you always say, Stephen, I never forget it, is the worst thing to be as a team is bad on accident. They're bad you, on accident. You, you want to be bad on purpose. You want to be good on purpose. But the worst thing is when you try and you go for it and you're bad. And that's the situation that the Flyers are in. For some reason, last season, after not making the playoffs, after having a mediocre year, they decided, let's try and go for it. And now they're bad on accident. And they have nothing to show for it. Nothing in the system. No real building prospects. And now they just yeah. got to dump. It's weird when I, I have a hard time criticizing a team for trying to get better in the off season, you know, you know who does it every single off season and it never works. New Jersey. <laughs> yes. Every off season. I'm like, here it comes. Yeah. Subban. Nope. Here it comes. I'm just, 
Andreas Janssen. Okay, slightly smaller acquisition than Suve. All right, Dougie Hamilton. Holy shit. Here we go. Nope. Mm -hmm. But the, the Flyers, like, the, you know, we've been talking about, like, how the Leafs are the financial lifeblood of the league. They make three and a half million dollars per home date. Mm -hmm. For God's sake, the Flyers can't suck. For all of our paychecks, the Flyers are not allowed to be this shit. And they're definitely not allowed to be this shit on accident. Because hockey's popular in Philly. If you if you are one of maybe six teams in the league, if you're going to be shit, there has to be a press release. New York Rangers. Toronto Maple Leafs. New York, uh, the, Toronto Maple, well, there was a press release after a long time of being shit. But, you know, they got there in the end. Late marks deducted and everything. But uh, Jeff Gordon was like, by the way, you may have noticed we're mediocre, and we'd like to take this opportunity to say we are going to stop being mediocre uh, to briefly be shit. And people got on board with it. Mm -hmm. The Flyers just sprung it on everyone. <laughs> so, And that's not, you can't do that. You cannot be the Philadelphia Flyers and do this. So, so, so let me ask you this, okay? The, the, the quote I was surprised Jesse didn't bring up, mm -hmm. and this is the one that stuck out to me, was that Chuck Fletcher says that this, though everything is on the table, this trade deadline, he says it will not take very much to turn this around. I mean, he said have... this is going to be a quick retool. And I want to know if you agree with him. And I'm not saying you can't, you can't agree with him. I'm just saying, do you agree with him? I hope his next NHL job is a team with no money. Because he just stuffs a potato cannon with, wads of hundreds and every off season goes oh no i've identified a problem <laughs> and he fires the potato cannon at it and the problem stays there it's just now covered in money and so he looks at another problem and he goes how about this time and he stuffs the bayonet <laughs> dude there's more to being a gm than spending friggin money they have assets like the, the one good thing that teams that are bad by accident ever have going for them mm -hmm. is they have assets. Teams that are bad on purpose are just, they're, they're stripped bare because that was the plan. There's no plan here. So they're only, from what I've read, it sounds like they're considering, no, we need to barrel through this and get better and try to make the playoffs. Bail. You suck. Bail. You are not the Blues. The Blues were barely the Blues from 2019. Mm -hmm. That is a one-off. There's a reason that we talk about it is it's a one-off. Bail. The team is bad. Bail. D Claude Giroux. UFA. <laughs> You're not going to get a bigger slam dunk than this. Do not be the Leafs and n miss the chance to trade your Matt Sundin. Right. This, this is... Bail. Captain who rarely had the talent with him uh, and got close but never quite won the thing. Shoots right-handed. <laughs> Gosh, I'm starting to get flashbacks. <laughs> trade Matt Sundin. Trade him, Philly. This is your shot. I've seen too much. <laughs> I know too much. 